Hello and welcome to Content in Hand, getting the best rich media from your mobile device. I'm your host, Wayne McPhail. Now we're diving into part six, and part six is just some practical tips you can use for shooting video with your smartphone. So let's dive right in. In the early part of this course, we talked about photography. Now, still photography has a lot of stuff that applies to video in terms of focus and lighting and exposure and composition, but there are some things in video that don't apply to still photography. And we're going to talk a lot about the, those in the parts to come. One of the things you really need to pay attention to is sound. If you have really good sound, people will put up with poor video quality, but if you have great video quality and terrible sound, it's almost impossible to listen to video and nobody's going to watch it. So the thing with sound, and we're going to talk about that when we talk about hardware, is almost always you need to use an external microphone to get great sound. That may be a lavalier or it may be a shotgun mic, but certainly something that's better than the built-in microphone on your camera. The other thing that is really important, we talked about this last time, in terms of stills, but it's really, really important in terms of video, is to put your camera on some kind of tripod. Now, it could be, as we talked about before, something as simple as this, a Gorillapod, or it could be a large-scale um, video tripod. Uh, but, and again, we'll talk about that in hardware, but it's so important to keep your camera steady, especially when you're shooting uh, single interviews like this, when it's just a close-up head, that if your camera's moving around, uh, it's really distracting. So it's really, really important to pay attention to that. And the other thing, uh, as we talked about in previous videos, is to, to clean, clean your lens, to make sure it's clean and ready to go. Um, so the other part that I just wanted to touch on briefly um, is to pay attention to your background, that uh, sometimes you want a very plain background like this one. Sometimes you want to give a sense of environment um, to a scene, maybe people in the background moving and if you're shooting a conference or something. Um, and sometimes you want to show, say, an office and stuff that's in the background in the office. So you want to do um, some of what call, is called set dressing to make sure there's no distracting things in the background or embarrassing books in the background or whatever. Um, so you want to do some set dressing, and we'll talk a bit about that in general later on. But I wanted to just sort of touch base early on about those things that we discussed. So really good sound, pay attention to keeping your stuff on a tripod, pay attention to your background, and then all the stuff that we talked about previously in still photography applies here. So those are just some basic practical things that you need to pay attention to and stuff that we'll go into more detail on in upcoming classes. So stay tuned for that. So that was part six. Coming up in part seven, we're going to be looking at the specific hardware and software you need for shooting video on your smartphone. And the hardware includes things like microphones, lights, and tripods. And the software are the editing tools you need to combine your raw video into documentaries or profiles or whatever you want to do. So hope you'll join me then. And thanks for watching this episode. Again, I'm your host, Wayne McPhail. Bye for now.